Welcome back people, we got some more Fishing Planet for you guys here today and I did this because it's so much fun so um, we're going to show you, <laughs> we're going to teach you how to how to catch fish on this dinghy. Now we have got the other boats, the better boats and all that but I brought this one mainly because it is really really good for trolling and that's the main reason why I brought it. Now it probably doesn't catch as much fish, let me just turn around, this is going to be a bit loud. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you probably don't catch as much fish this way um, by trolling on the boat compared to setting up with bait rods and obviously using a popper or a spinner at the same time because you've got more lines out so obviously there's going to be more, you're going to catch fish at a, probably a faster pace by using bait rods. But anyway, the reason why I've done this, more than anything else, is one, to show you guys, but it's also fun as well. So you want to get the boat at 1%. It's at 1% right now. So let's um, let's have a look. That's three miles an hour. Put the boat at 1%. As I say, you've got to be a little bit patient, but the best thing about it is it is really, really fun. Now, I don't have my face cam on whenever I'm making these videos, these little short clips because uh, I just like to chill okay popper I've tried using a popper I haven't had much luck with that so I'm gonna change over and put on a buzz bait some of the walkers do work um, crank baits haven't had much luck with crank baits but I haven't done a lot a lot of testing on this yet to see to see which one would work best at the moment I've just I'm just messing around with it um, just having a little bit of fun really and just wanted to quickly show you guys how fun it is using this dinghy now you could probably do it with the other boats but the dinghy seems to work the best so what we're we gonna do so we're just gonna cast out like this we're in blue crab islands you can do this in any lake as long as you're able to use as long as you're able to use a boat in the lake and you got the right boat, uh, you'll definitely be able to do it. Now I'm pretty sure you could do this with the the cheaper the cheaper boat, not the kayak, but the the actual cheapest boat. Uh, this is where I got that idea from. Uh, once before I did this, I did it once before and uh, with the cheaper boat in a different lake, and it was really, it was actually really good fun. As I say, it is a little bit more time consuming. It does take a slight little bit longer to catch the fish, but it's just, I don't know, there's something about it that just makes it really fun that you're just standing in the boat and you're just trolling along like this and all of a sudden something just comes up and, and hits your bait. It's, it's absolutely awesome. It's, <laughs> it's actually really good fun. Now, since I've been doing this in Blue Crab, I've only done this a little bit. I haven't done it too much. Real time, I've only put about three, four hours into it. So, again, I've got a lot of different... Um, lures and stuff to try out to see which would work best so yeah it's uh it's gonna be one of those progress things that if we manage to find something better to use I will eventually end up making another video on that but anyway we've done lots of hot spots of fishing planet in Blue Crab Island and other lakes as well where to catch certain fish and how to catch the biggest fish and all that good stuff and anytime there's updates for fishing planet we're gonna download them install them as quick as we possibly can and get a live stream going for you people so if you're interested in fishing planet and you want to know all about the latest updates subscribe if you're new turn on notifications we do moto blogs and other random videos we live stream all, all different random games if you want to see who's behind the rod who's talking you can always catch one of the future live streams or one of my past live streams where i use my face cam all right so as you can see this is a little bit more time consuming i've been talking for a little bit I haven't had much interest yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a couple of edits into the video and I'm going to show you I'm going to show you that it's pretty fun to catch some fish like this. So I'll bring you guys back when we get one on. I'll be just a moment. Oh, and we got a hit. There we go. This is our first one. The boat does kind of slow down a little bit when you pull pull the fish in, but it does it does carry on sometimes you've got to straighten it up after but there we go common snook not bad I have had a few I started at 5 a.m. sunny day I have had a few bites but 
a few times I was a little bit impatient, tried striking too quick. Always have your real speed on real speed four. That's definitely a thing that you, you should have. If it's not on four and you strike, it's not going to work. Anytime the fish does try and take your lure, bait, whatever you're using, um, make sure that you are ready. Whenever it bites, do like a three second count in your head, like one, two, three, and then strike. If you strike too early, you won't get the fish. We'll bring you back on the next one. And we're in. That was a nice take, that one. Look how much the boat slowed down. It's almost brought it to a stop. Common snook. There we go. <laughs> I thought I'd do that one a little bit closer. I'll put, I'll put that one at 30 feet. Just so that way we can see what it looks like. Common snook, not very big, but still a fish. There we go, we got another one on. As you can see up there in the top left by the time, it is taking me a, a little bit of time to catch these, so definitely patience, but it's still fun. I enjoy it, that's why we're showing you guys how to, how to do it, not only how to do it, but uh, that it does work. Definitely always leave your, your moat uh, running at 1%, just to quickly show you. There you go, as you can see, 1%, that's 3 miles an hour. Always keep it at 1%. If you go much faster than that, um, I have gone faster than that, and I haven't had much luck catching catching anything. So maybe it could just been an unlucky day, possibly. But yeah, if you're going too fast, the lure is obviously going too fast through the water, so the fish isn't going to be able to catch it. So... 1%, 3 miles an hour, that seems like a, a good thing to have. Wait for it. There we go. Fish on. <laughs> nice. I have no idea what that is. Oh, a bonefish, I think. Yeah, bonefish. Another one on. That was a nice take, that one. Now don't forget I am making cuts and edits into this video. Just because it does take a little bit longer to catch the fish. Another hit. No idea what it is. Probably a snook, yeah. bit smaller but still a fish and we're on again just as we're coming towards the end we've, we've got to turn around I know we've still got a little bit more we just come towards the side a little bit there we go another snook on the game for for trolling for me it is definitely definitely this dinghy that's why I brought it really good fun do enjoy it Sorry about the seagulls in the background, a little bit loud. <laughs> but here we go, this is our last fish. Another snook. Nice. 22 pounds, not too bad. As I say, we couldn't really show you a really big fish. Just because I wanted to, I wanted to post this out as quick as I can. Because a lot of people keep on asking about how I do trolling on Fishing Planet. I always do it in the dinghy. I have obviously fished off the other boats, like the best boats and the smaller boats, but I don't know, just something really satisfying about using this dinghy. Look, look at that. It's it's just so it's so awesome the way it strikes. I love it. Really good. There we go. Another snook. Nice. Alright, that's it. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. Oh well look at that. All you need is lure free. Took us a while to get that, but we got it in the end. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.